Hi all, Cynthia here, back doing a Traveller's Notebook layout. I'm using my April kit from the Wild Hair Kits today and I'm just flipping through the papers to see which ones I might use on today's layout. I am documenting the fact that Kayser Craft have opened a shop in my little hometown, basically. Woohoo! Well, where I work anyway, so... I was super excited when I saw that advertising for jobs. That was the first time I heard about it. Um, and I thought, oh my God, they're coming. We don't have anything like that um, where I live. The best we have is Spotlight, which um, do do um, a pretty good range of um, scrapbooking stuff but to have Kaiser Craft themselves here and all their gorgeous stamps is just going to be dreadful for my pay packet but uh, I've already been in there a few times look like I can just spend time in there just wandering around looking at all the gorgeousness so um, I took this photo before the shop had even opened um, well, I walked past one day and saw that they was opening on that weekend and I thought oh I better grab a shot unfortunately I couldn't get to the opening weekend where they had all the awesome discounts um, I was offered a training course all weekend but anyway I'm sure they'll have more and anyway they um, always have some good discounted product in there so I've pulled out my kit and I was so happy that this month there happened to be quite a few little icons like brushes and pens and uh, um, some of the um, stuff said like uh, making stuff happen and all this type of stuff which sort of kind of goes w with crafting and um, scrapbooking so I thought yep perfect and a couple of months ago I received I think it's a, the whimsical kit, um, uh, the chipboard, don't quote me on that, I think it's um, the chipboard from the whimsical collection that also has a lot of craft um, icons and sayings, so I'll pull that out here in a little minute and pull some bits and pieces off that too. <clears throat> Unfortunately with this piece of paper here I was doing some... Um, crafting on my desk and I used a piece of paper um, as a scrap piece of paper and it had some tape on it and then I've stuck this piece of paper down to it this one with the birds on so it, a little bit of it tore off so I've got to be creative to be able to cover that a little bit up but I do that Got this little flare here and for a minute I'm thinking about putting it inside the um, inside the camera but it's always the way the, ca the, the flare just pointed the wrong direction mm -hmm. so I didn't go there this is where I've gone off and pulled out this one here hmm. you could correct me you may know where it's from but I can't think so there's quite a few little um, icons here but I end up just pulling off some of these words there's three gold words one says dream create and play I did want to use all three but in the end I only use the two I use play and create I think and you see me coming towards the end I it jumps away a little bit I didn't you don't miss much you see me missing put one thing down because oh I did fiddle around with that paintbrush that I've just put down there and the wording around that little section so much. I reckon I spent a good five minutes shuffling things around just in this little bit here. So I saved you the absolute extreme boredom. And um, you'll see in a minute that that cuts out. How has everyone been? Has everyone been well? We managed to get some scrapping done, some art journaling. I can't say I have done a lot for the beginning of this month. It is, what, the 19th today? And this is probably my second or third video that I'm uploading. Um, as I said in my previous ones, I've been sick and my computer died and um, I've been away. So, And here it is going into Easter and we're going away on our boat for five nights. 
so there will be no scrapping done and there'll be no uploading of videos so oh, when I'll be back I've got to quickly get some more up I've had this super acrylic piece in my stash I received that last month month before something like that in my kit it's from um, Bramble Fox I would imagine that's where we generally get all the gorgeous acrylic pieces from um, and I really want to use it because I think it's pretty super that um, Kaiser Craft is coming to as I said my little hometown um, they're pink it's a probably a little bit brighter than some of the pinks but on the bottom of this paper that I've got here there's that quite a bright pink um, color so I'm going to make it work and the pink is also on the other side in some of the birds, but so I've determined to make that word work, I should say. And I'm just going to stick everything back down somewhat in the um, the position that I had it. And this is where I start all the fiddling. Also off camera, um, I went off and printed out my journaling, so I just printed out in plain paper and printed, cut them out into strips. Ooh, get that out. Um, and I've put my journaling below my photo there. I use my camera to film and I also use, no, of course I use a camera. I use my phone to film and I also use my phone to do the journaling. So um, why I was off typing up my journaling on my phone obviously I couldn't record at the same time so as I said you don't see that I try to get this play to kind of wrap around the um, flare there mm, it kind of did it wasn't quite as wrapped as what I was visualizing there are close-up photos coming at the end so make sure you stay tuned for those and it's at this point here that I realise, oh, hang on, I haven't trimmed down my papers to fit the page. Um, thankfully, I can do it okay and it doesn't miss up too much. So I trim those down and I just stick them onto my page and I'm all done. Put that one and I put the other one on the other side. And then I just trim off the little bit that's hanging over the top. And I use a little bit of this brown um, diagonal paper. I try to bring it across to the other page. And then I'll be pretty much done. As I said, there are photos coming up. There you go. I decided I'll put that in there. I think that looked quite good. But then when I go to stick the tape down, which you don't see there, <laughs> I stuck the tape on the side that I wanted to show. So I had to tear that bit off and I'm only left with a tiny little bit. All done. I hope you enjoyed the process. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, uh, leave me a comment. I love reading all your comments. Check the links below for the wild hair kits. I'll leave all that below. And until next time, everyone have a lovely day, a lovely week, or a lovely month. And I will talk to you on the next video. Until then, bye.